right back on my stellar blade, making our way through this tunnel. Hope everybody's well, doing safe, doing safe, <laughs> staying safe. Let's do this, guys. Okay. Let's see what's on the other side of this. I'm guessing it's gonna be a boss, but it's always a boss. Chasing me. I told you to stop chasing me. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a boss, man. Oh, it's collapsing. I think you could come down here. Wait, what combat are we in? Oh, come on, bro. You're all the way over there. Send me to this. Can you just turn around so I could just, you know? in terms of combat but it's like some I could see where some people might not like the combat um I think the combat is it does feel like nice and fresh sometimes but other times it does feel like a little uh a little um something's down there not clunky but it, it feels as if like when she's in animation, it, it, it's hard to like prevent like like dodging wise and um Like until like responses what I mean, like when you when responses Oh, that's you. 
I could have just simply forgot about that. We have to open the valve to supply water. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something now we have to do. That's our key. I just had a feeling that uh, we had to go look in search of something. down to open a different valve. That's the another thing. Like you just get like caught on things. So I'm trying to position myself to get this. Ah, we found the key. All right. Probably gonna be another one we have to get anyway. be enough. You can get out by going back to where you started. Hope it's not no like water bosses or anything like that in this game. I'd be pissed. This way. something at the end of this tunnel.
finally outside. See that crater over there? That area is Alpha Nativa territory. What's a drop pod doing there? It was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a fifth airborne squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Pretty faint, but I'm picking up a distress signal coming from that drop pod. That means... There might still be survivors. Really? I can't say for sure, and the Alpha Nativa could appear at any moment. So let's make sure we're well prepared. That means boss fight. <laughs> More, we played these games too much and I know that's, that means boss fight. Let's look at the area. I'm gonna get maxed out. Hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Look up!
Bond and like um Dark Souls on here. Uh, let me uh, heal up real quick. I know it's probably a cutscene, but all right, all healed up. Let's see what this is about. My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core? If she were... Eve. Hmm? There's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please? Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. What the...? Uh. A survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Oracle who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Call. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes, I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes!
it's huge! It's surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical Eve Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Huh. I use a shop back there. Yeah. Not being used right now. Nice to know. Looks like oh, they the built the city stuff. deep and high. This kind of reminds me of, um, what should call it, um, Ada Wong. This reminds me of Ada for some reason. Let's go with this one. around the city supposed to protect it from Nativa attacks. The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Likely there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. 
But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. Situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Come on, we're almost there. Guess we're about to get a new weapon or something. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. You're a 
objective is to rid the world of the elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Hey, here. He just took off and put, knocked down the guy's books and everything. That's just disrespectful. Knock down the guy's books. This this take the bets. I bet you that old guy right there is a the final boss of the game. Maybe it's out of one of This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. I see us. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Ave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma. Outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh. This here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas.
However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Navoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Much love. Catch you guys in the next part. Later, guys. Peace out.